Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brittany Hobbs. I am the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admissions for Goldie Beacom College. I'm going to start off today giving you some information about the college and the admissions process. And then one of our current students, Laura, is going to give you a little more from her perspective perspective about the college. So thank you all for joining. Um, Goldie Beacom College is a small school uh, located in Wilmington, Delaware. We have been around since 1886. Um, if you are not familiar you know, with the college, we um, are located, like I said, in Wilmington, Delaware with, um, in the Pike Creek area. If you are familiar with the area, you may have noticed we've been doing some construction um, in the past year or so and so this this slide just gives you a picture of one of the new residence halls that we are really excited about um, this slide is a map to kind of show you that we are in a very good um, central location located close to some big cities um, philadelphia baltimore dc new york city um, you know just a short drive to any of these places this slide is some fun facts about the school. So as I mentioned, we are a small school. Um, all of your class sizes will um, you know, be very small. You won't have any large um, lecture halls with like two, 300 students in them. Um, our student faculty ratio is 20 to one. Um, we have 25 different deg undergrad degree options, but um, also with the undergrad, we offer um, an associate's degrees, we offer certificate programs, we offer graduate degrees, as well as um, a DBA program. Um, also, is I know that we have some high school students joining us. Um, we also offer a dual enrollment program. So if there are any students that are interested, um, you have to be a junior or senior in high school, but you can actually take classes at Goldie Beacom College um, your junior or senior year in high school and earn college credit for those classes. And they're only um, $100 each course. And you can take up to four classes um, this way. Um, over 54 or 54 percent of our freshman students live on campus. Um, students are able to live on campus every year if they'd like or they don't have to live on campus at all. It's, it's up to the student. Um, all students, freshmen including, can have a car on campus for free. So that's, you know, an exciting fun fact. Um, and then we students always have three day weekends, so you never have classes on Fridays. So um, the college is still open. You know, we're all still on campus if you need have questions or need help with anything. But students always have that Friday off um, of classes. So this helps, you know, students if they want to get jobs or internships as well as with athletics. Um, and then speaking of athletics, we do have 13 um, NCAA Division II athletic teams. So this slide gives uh, um, an overview of all of our bachelor degree options um, that we have available. As I mentioned before, um, we used to be an all business college, so we do have a strong background in business. So you'll see um, within the business administration degree, we have um, a lot of different concentrations. So you can choose just the general business administration or you can choose business administration with one of these concentrations, you know, marketing, management, legal studies, things like that. We offer um, accounting, economics, finance, human services, criminal justice, psychology, um, communication and media and human services were just actually added this fall um, within our communication and media degree. We actually partnered with um, Delaware College of Art and Design, which is um, a local college. And four of your courses that you take for this degree, you will take with um, DCAD, Delaware College of Art and Design. And so you would get a little more background in the art side of this degree. So, and those classes will, um, right now they're virtual because everything is um, online, but eventually we would like students to be able to take those classes on the campus. So you'd get to take them in the art studios um, at that school. 
All of our majors require 120 credits to graduate and all of our classes are three credits. So it's laid out, um, you know, really nicely for students if they take five classes in the fall, five classes in the spring to be on track to graduate within four years. Uh, we do offer summer semester, but most students don't need to take that any classes over the summer because um, everything is within those two semesters. But if you would like to take um, classes in the summer, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, we also offer two different course formats. So your course could be either um, a seven week course or a 14 week course. Um, so you can have a combination of these um, different formats within your fall semester. So you could be potentially signed up for five classes for the fall semester, but only taking three or four at a time. But you're still enrolled in the full amount of classes that get you the um, get you as a full time student to make you eligible for your scholarships and financial aid and everything like that. Um, your classes would either be, you know, Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday, or if it's um, a night class, it would be once a week, um, whichever night it's scheduled. All of your courses would be taught by the professor. You wouldn't have any teaching assistants and all of the professors have experience in the field that they're teaching. Uh, this next slide goes over the um, athletic programs that we offer. Like I said, we have 13 different Division II teams. Um, so you can see here um, men's and women's basketball, men's baseball, men's and women's cross country, men's golf, men's and women's soccer, women's softball, women's tennis, men's and women's track and field, and women's volleyball. All of um, the sports are division two, so you can be um, offered an athletic scholarship. All of the coaches do um, their own recruiting. So if you're interested in any of our sports, I would encourage you to go on our website, which we will share um, and you can fill out an athletic form that will be sent straight to the coaches. And then the coaches will get that information and they can um, follow up with you. And you, know, you can send in videos and things like that. And this will help them um, you know, with recruiting. So these are just some of our pictures of, of current athletes here. So as I mentioned before, we have been doing construction on campus. One of the things we um, added was a brand new residence hall. The other thing was um, completely redoing one of our buildings which included adding a brand new dining hall, which we were really excited about. Um, so these are some pictures inside of the new dining hall. Previously, we had a small cafe where students could just walk up and order um, you know, a sandwich or something like that. This dining hall is, um, uh, like I said, completely redone. There's two different options. You can get a meal plan, which includes the all you care to eat section and then there's also a section where you can just go in it's called our grab and go where you would just grow go in and grab that sandwich or whatever and then um, go on with the day some of the new options in our dining hall will be a brick oven pizza we're gonna have starbucks coffee there's different sections um you know like a deli a grill section Students also have um, the option of downloading an app that will be connected to our dining hall that will give you a menu of each day's um, options. You will be able to see the nutritional information as well as any, if you have any allergies, you'll be able to see that. You can also place an order and then go pick it up through the app. So we were really excited to open that this fall. Um, we had to transition to all online classes for the fall, but we're hoping to have this open by the spring um, with our hybrid courses. This gives you um, a you know, campus shot overview. The Jones Center is the center that um, that I was just talking about that has been completely redone in the Jones Center. The all of our athletic um, facil facilities are in here. You know, the coaches offices, the gym, the fitness center, locker rooms, has our dining hall, the library, um, student affairs and the admissions office. Fulmer Center is where all of the classes are held. So all of the classes are in one building. It's very easy for students. They're either on the second or third floor. 
um, as well as the computer labs, which are kind of located in the back here. And if you have any computer classes, they're right here. And then um, over here are the five different residence halls that we offer. Miller, Jackson, and Abel are usually reserved for upperclassmen. And then Leach Hall and Franza Hall are um, reserved for new students. And Franza Hall is the new residence hall that we just built. So when you apply and you decide you wanted to live on campus, you'll get the option to choose between Leach Hall and Franta Hall. Leach Hall is our apartment style um, residence hall. So all of the rooms would be like this full apartment. So you would have a full kitchen area, two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. These rooms can have up to six students in them. So three students in each bedroom. All of the buildings are co-ed and then each um, room would be, you know, either all male or all female. The other option is front to hall, which like I said, is brand new this school year. Within this option, you is more like the traditional dorm experience. So you would have either a single or a double option. Um, all of the furniture that you see in the pictures comes with the room. So all students would get the bed, a desk and a dresser. This option also comes with um, the mini refrigerator and microwave um, and then in on each floor in this building there's um, single use bathrooms for students as well as study lounges um, and then there is a kitchen on the first floor for in this um, building. This is a picture inside of the Jones Center. So this is where student affairs office is. The, the new dining facility is back here. The library would be over here, um, campus store. And then in the back there would be the gym and the admissions office. Um, our student affairs office um, is, works with all students for different activities. So they host different activities on campus, um, comedians, um, musicians, karaoke, intramural, sports, trivia night, things like that. They also um, have all of the clubs and organizations. So they, these are, a this is a list of some of our current clubs, but they change every year. It just depends on what students are interested in. If there's a club that you're really interested in when you start at Goldie Beacom, they will help you get that started. Um, also in the back here behind student affairs um, is our career services office. Our career service department is amazing. Um, over 90% of GBC students find employment or continue education within three months of graduating. And it's been like that for over 10 years now. This picture shows um, one of our career fairs. They do career fairs twice a year, one in the fall, one in the spring. They bring a bunch of employers on campus for students to meet with. Before the career fairs, they'll help you set uh, work on your resume, work on interviewing skills. This year, we had our first virtual career fair. Um, but outside of the career fairs, they have things like this all the time. They'll go into classrooms and bring employers. They'll have them set up, you know, in the lounge or the cafe for students to meet with. And they're not just here for you while you're a student. So once you graduate, if you um, still need, if you come back like years later and need help with your resume or looking for a job, they're, they're available for that. So this slide talks about um, tuition. So this year, um, starting fall 2021, we've cut our tuition in half. We're really excited about this. So um, for 30 credits, which is a, a normal course load, like I said, five classes in the fall, five classes in the spring, tuition for all students will start, we'll start out at 12,750. Last year, um, it started, it was this 25,500. So, We've been, for the past seven years, we've been awarding an affordability assurance award to all of our accepted students that has bringing, has brought tuition down to this, um, this lower price that you see. And this year they just decided to make that cost permanent. So it's very easy to understand, it's transparent. So when you, you know, look up the price of Goldie Beacom, you'll see that it's this 12,000 price and not the 25,000 that it was before. 
Um, also, when you apply, you will be asked to submit your high school transcripts and your SAT or ACT scores. When you do that, we will review you for one of our merit scholarships, and that is based on your high school GPA that you'll find on this side and your SAT or ACT scores that you would find on the top. These scholarships are from 3000 to 6000 so whichever one you are eligible for, you would just subtract that from that total that we just talked about. Um, and this would be before any financial aid or other scholarships. Um, these, so when you apply, let's say you apply and you're accepted and you get 3000, but then you decide you wanna take the SAT again and you submit those scores, we can always increase your scholarship if you're eligible for that. Also by the end of the school year, when you submit your final transcript, if your GPA has increased, we can also increase your scholarship then. And then with the SATs or ACTs, we would take the super score. So if you scored higher on um, one section the first time and then the other section the next time, we could take that super score. Information session. So we are hosting um, on campus information sessions. We are having these once a year. Um, we are following all of the COVID procedures. Everyone has to wear a mask. We're taking temperatures, things like that. But we would like to, and we're having small groups. So if you are local and interested and want to come visit, um, please go on our website and register for one of these information sessions. You'll meet with an admissions rep and then go for a campus tour. Um, also, if you don't feel comfortable coming to campus, they're going to put it in the chat and we're also gonna send it out to you, but we just created a brand new virtual tour video that will give you also a, an overview of the campus. This slide has um, a QR code. So if we were meeting at per, in person at a, at a college fair, we would have inquiry cards for students to fill out that you would be able to fill that out. You would give us all your information and we would um, start adding you to our mailing list and sending you emails and things like that. This is the same thing. If you take your phone out and put your camera up to the QR code, it'll bring you right to our um, virtual or to our website with the inquiry form where you can fill that out and it'll add you to our um, mailing list. If you're a senior and you're on here today, you can go ahead and start filling out the application. It is a free online application, no essay required, no letters of recommendation required. So it's very easy to do. You'll go to the website, fill that out, submit your high school transcripts and your SAT or ACT scores. Once we have that, like I said, we'll review you for one of those merit scholarships. You can also start filling out the FAFSA as a senior. Um, and on the FAFSA, you can add up to 10 different colleges. Um, our school code is here. So if you want to add our school to that, once you're accepted, our financial aid department will start reviewing um, the FAFSAs and they'll send you out a tentative aid letter that will show you the breakdown of your admission scholarships as well as your um, financial aid um, availability and then um, you'll be able to see your final out-of-pocket costs. So now I am going to turn it over to Laura and she's going to just give you a little bit of overview about herself and you know what she likes about Goldie Beacom. Hi, I'm Laura Grunza. I am a sophomore here at Goldie Beacom College. I'm a business admin major with a concentration in management. I've lived in Delaware my whole life. I went to Cab Calloway School of the Arts uh, for high school. So if anyone's watching from Cab, hey. Uh, so I'm here to tell you why I chose Goldie Beacom and why I'm still here. So I applied for many schools in Delaware. I wanted to stay pretty local and Goldie was just the perfect fit from the start. I know things are pretty crazy right now with COVID and everything, but it's pretty much the same for everything that happened with me. So I'm just gonna tell you. So they were very communicative throughout the entire application process. While other colleges, I maybe wouldn't hear back for a week, they would respond so quickly. They would use my name and emails, make it very personal. And that's really what made the difference for me. So that was just for an application process for me that meant a lot. And while I was on campus, the class size really meant a lot to me. It was very personal. I loved having that teacher experience, seeing the teachers in the hallway. I know you can't really do that anymore with what's going on, but maybe with the hybrid classes in the spring and next year, seeing the teachers in the hallway and them knowing who I was and me knowing who they were, it's a big deal. 
So if you choose to live on campus, I don't, I'm a commuter, but if you choose to live on campus, there are so many different options for you and different things to do. Now, when I was at Goldie, we only had the cafe, like I said, but since we had the construction and have the new buffet and area with the meal plan, it's great. I mean, you'll have the buffet, you'll have so many different options for food, but if not, we are right across the street from an entire shopping center, which has um, an Acme, it has a smoothie place, it has ice cream, so everything you need for an entire college diet, if you ask me. So it's a great idea there and for shopping, you're close to so many different areas for that. Uh, the campus itself, it takes five to 10 minutes to walk across the whole campus. So, I mean, it's great. Everything's so close together and very, very nice and comfortable. Um, I mean, it was just great for me. And during this whole COVID, I had an internship lined up and it fell through and it was really stressful. So I contacted Career Services and they were so, so nice and caring and they got me an internship at Goldie Beacom so I could have it during this time. And I work in international admissions at this time and it's just been so great. They've really helped me out through some hard times and I know that they will in the future, like Brittany said. So it's just been so nice. They've always been there and in classes and everything like that. They've just been so nice, communicative, and that's really all that I can ask for. So if you're having any second thoughts, I hope that I can clear this up for you. So that's really all I had to say. Thank you. And then we also are just available if anybody has any questions. That's great. If you guys are ready, I'm gonna jump into the Q&A Part, and we do have some questions that came in. Um, we did have a couple questions about different um, courses or degrees you offer. Do you have any courses about being um, in fashion design as well as someone asked about culinary arts? Um, unfortunately, we do not have a major in either one of those. I'm just gonna go back to the undergrad um, degrees here. Um, so we um, don't have anything in culinary or fashion at this time. So these are the um, all of the bachelor's degrees that we offer here. Okay, great. Um, let's see, we say we have a student who said, um, what do you think they could do to stand out on an application? Yeah, so like I mentioned in the application, it's we're not on the Common App um, or other, you know, the schools are on the Common App and that has a lot of questions on it. It takes a lot of time to do. Ours is very short. Um, it's a lot easier to do. For the Common App and for other apps, you're required to send in essays and letters of recommendation. We don't require any of that, but if you have those, you can certainly send them in. Those help us find out a little bit more about the student, but we don't require them. So we give out those merit scholarships based on your transcript and your SAT or ACT scores, but those might not tell the full story about the student. So if there's something you wanna tell us, definitely, you can put it in an email, you can send it as an essay or a letter or however it works for you. We just don't have any specific requirements. We also have endowed scholarships that, um, you know, sometimes they're for students with different, they have diff all different criteria. So maybe you do a lot of community service or something like that. And we don't know that by just looking at your high school transcripts and SAT scores. So if you submit, um, essays or letters or emails about that stuff, we'll be able to know a little bit more about you. And also um, meeting with an admissions rep. So if you don't feel comfortable coming to campus, we completely understand we're available to meet via Zoom. So how we're meeting now, we're all always available for that. Great. Um, we have a question, let's see, um, about Laura's favorite part. What is your favorite part of campus life? Okay. so. Like I said, I don't live on campus, so I don't have like the full like dorm experience or anything. So I can't answer from that perspective. But let me tell you, like I live five minutes away from campus, so it's great commute on my part. So um, the best part about campus experience is just getting to class, seeing people that you know and have other classes with, and then just being to get out, like being able to leave class, grab a coffee, and just being able to sit down and relax. You know, like I'm just bringing this up as like 
if you have a college like in the city somewhere or it's busy, like I feel like everything is just moving so fast, but right, it feels so calm and neutral when everything in college is stressful. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be frank. <laughs> Schoolwork is stressful, <laughs> and college, you know, during midterms week or during finals week, it's gonna be stressful. So having the ability to just step out of class and go to you know the dining hall or sit at the benches with the trees, you know, outside of Fulmer. It's nice to just being able to sit there on a small campus with close friends and just being able to sit there and chill out. It's nice. I like the small environment for me. It's, and I think a lot of other people enjoy that too. That's great. Um, we had another question that asked, uh, Laura, why did you pick Goldie Beacom? Was it for that small feel? It was definitely a big, uh, a big thing for me. Uh, like I said, I live close, so I pass by it a lot. And so when I took finally took the tour on campus and saw the environment of it, I liked it a lot. Also, for me, it was about financial stuff. Uh, there were a lot of the colleges that I chose were very, very expensive compared to Goldie Beacom. I got a lot of scholarships from Goldie Beacom. So it was kind of like a, you know, like, why, why don't I, you know, <laughs> but then it really, really grew on me. The more I got on campus, the more stuff I saw, the more emails I got, it was just a no brainer in my decision. So. Great. Thanks so much. Um, the last question is how has life on campus changed or adjusted with COVID? So we were planning to have hybrid classes um, this fall. Once everything hit back in March, we had to pivot and move all of classes online. Before this, none of Goldie Beacom classes were online. So you were never able to take classes online. So it was a huge adjustment for us, but we transitioned very quickly. All classes for the rest of the spring semester, starting in March and the summer, were all online. This fall, we were planning to have um, some hybrid and some online, but then right before classes started, they just decided with everything going on that it would be best to just um, do all online. But in the spring, we're hoping to bring students back. Um, we've started doing weekly testing on campus for, for COVID. Um, students will still have the option to take online classes, but we're hoping to do hybrid. So half of your class would be online and then some, and then the other days you would actually be able to meet it on campus. Um, and all any class that would be on campus would be very small, um, 20 or less students. So like I said, most of your classes would be that small, but if they were any larger previously, this year they would be definitely 20 or less. Um, you know, we, we've tried to do the, everything we can, you know, we're all on campus still, so we're staggering. Um, you know, we, the offices are all open. There just won't be as many people in them. You know, we've set up all the social distancing, masks are required, hand sanitizer, things like that. So it's definitely a lot quieter and different, but we're, we're pulling through and we're hoping to have more students on campus in the spring. We do have some students living on campus right now and we're hoping to bring more students back in the spring. Great. All right. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for attending the session, Brittany and Laura. It's been great hearing about um, Goldie Beacom and your guys' insight there.